Time travel, fiction's favorite child that allows a story to change the fate of its characters, reboot everything into a completely new reality, or make a philosophical statement. But just like several theories on the physics of space-time, there are many kinds of time travel described in fiction. These can get confusing as the logic of one story does not apply to the other. Today I am going to explain the main types of time travels with the same example, for clarity. In fiction, time travel is of three main types, dynamic, fixed, and multiverse. Each of them can be divided into two more subtypes. Let's see how. In a world ruled by a dictator, the hero decides to travel to the past and kill him before he rises to power. This is to change the course of time. Ideally, when he returns to his original timeline, the world should be free from the dictator's rule. In a dynamic time travel, this is what exactly happens. But there are two subtypes here. The first is the most boring type where everything happens as it expected. When he returns to his world everything is updated. The world has changed for the good, and it's a happy ending. The second subtype makes this more interesting. It is the paradox type of time travel. Here, the hero goes back in time, kills the dictator before he rises to power and returns to his time. Now that the dictator never rose to power, there was no need to travel back in time to kill him. So, when the hero returns to his original world he sees that he has never left his world for the past, and now there are two versions of the hero, making the original hero a paradox. Usually, paradox world is explained by the multiverse theory. A theory which says that actually, the hero has created a new universe when he killed the dictator. So technically, he is in an alternate universe now. Multiverse travel has two theories, either the alternate reality gets created as a result of his actions, or it already exists and the hero lands in the wrong world. By this logic, his original universe continues to exist where nothing has changed, and the dictator is still ruling that world. The third type is fixed universe time travel. Here, nothing changes as a result of the hero's actions. The hero goes to the past and kills the dictator, and returns to his world to see that some other dictator has replaced the dead dictator and nothing has changed. There is one more subtype called the loop time travel. Here, the hero goes back in time but fails to assassinate the dictator. This triggers the dictator to grab power and cause becomes its effect. So in a sense, the hero creates the dictator by traveling in time. The fixed universe like these makes a philosophical statement that whatever is destined to happen will happen, and we are simply puppets of destiny. I hope these examples have clarified the time travel concepts and not created confusion. Do you want to know which literature has the oldest mention of time travel? To find out, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more videos.